Hey, happy Friday to you. Today is the 25th of September and you are watching the Friday Funnies. Well, after 12 days on the road on my motorcycle, it's good to be get back to the business at hand, that business being comedy. You're, if you'd like to read about my motorcycle adventure, you can go to my website, daleirvin.com, press the button for blog, and you can read all seven episodes. And I couldn't have picked a better time to return because this week we are being graced with the presence of Pope Francis. He is visiting Washington, D.C., New York City, and Philadelphia. And that can mean only one thing. Pope Francis is considering a run for the U.S. presidency. He must have looked at our current lineup of candidates and figured that he was a shoe in I mean, the Pope had both houses of Congress applauding him. He had a private meeting with the president in the Oval Office. He is the anti-Trump. Huh? I, I can't wait for the next debate. You know, I'd like to see Trump take a couple of jabs at the Pope and then watch Trump just burst into flames. That would be very cool. Fortunately, nothing has changed in the world of ridiculousness as stupid people continue to do stupid things. Here then are the best of the week. Jake Williams drove his truck to a bar in Denham Springs, Louisiana and had more daiquiris than he should have. Fortunately, Mr. Williams knew he was too drunk to drive, so he went to the back of his truck, opened the horse trailer that he had been pulling, and took out his horse, Sugar. Then he started to ride Sugar home. Livingston Parish Police stopped him on Highway 16 and issued a ticket for public intoxication. Williams said that he thought he made a wise decision in riding home instead of driving because, because to quote him, the horse knows the way home. Sounds like a case of good old-fashioned horse sense to me. The word selfie was not even a part of our language until a few years ago, but now it's become as ubiquitous as the word hashtag. You know, the big difference is that nobody's ever been killed by a hashtag. It was reported that in 2015, more people died taking selfies than have died in shark attacks. The main cause of death is from people falling while they're taking a selfie, you know, over a cliff or uh, down the stairs. The second biggest cause from people who tried, their own tried to take their own picture near a moving train. The ultimate selfie news this week is that the makers of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal have developed a selfie spoon so that now you can take a picture of yourself while you're having breakfast. It's basically a spoon attached to a selfie stick, allowing you to snap a photo of yourself while choking on a three-foot-long spoon. Two inmates at a Louisville, Kentucky jail dared to make a break for it this week by tying their bed sheets together and using them to climb down from the roof of a minimum security facility. And it might have worked had the cons been ex-Boy Scouts. But these two noodleheads did not know how to tie a proper knot. So while climbing down the sheets, Matthew Johnson felt the knot slip, the sheets let go, and he dropped down 20 feet to the ground. His accomplice saw what happened, and he didn't even try to make an escape. Johnson was soon recaptured while limping down the street, but... But it's a good thing he didn't try to take a selfie on his way down, or he could be dead today. That's it for this week, my friends. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you back here next Friday. <laughs>